Hi guys, it's Miss Christine and welcome to the do-it-yourself Apple print tote bag virtual program here in the children's room at Hampton Bay's Public Library. So today what we're going to do is we are going to create a lovely tote for books or whatever else you'd like to put in it and we're going to use apples. It's September and September kicks off apple season so this is perfect timing. So in your kit, you should have all received one of these tote bags, three apples, and three little containers of paint in red, yellow, and green, along with three paintbrushes. So with the help of an adult, you'll cut your apples in half. You only need three. Um, we'll lay those sit there. Also, if you have some paper at home, or mom might have some wax paper in the kitchen cabinet, you want to put something inside the bag so that when you're printing with the paint, it doesn't bleed through onto the back of the bag. So I just had some construction paper here that I just put in like so. And now I'm going to turn the tote towards me so that I can decorate it. And I'm going to start with red. I'm gonna take an apple. You might wanna just blot it a little bit to dry it, just dry it off a little bit because you're going to put paint on it. So keep some paper towels on hand. And then you can just paint your apple. If it has a stem on it, paint the stem too, because then you'll get a nice, a nice picture of the apple with a stem. So I'm gonna paint this guy. Cover it nice and you want to put a nice layer on, but not too thick because you don't want it to get all gloppy. So here I did it like this. And now you can do any kind of pattern you like. Um, I think I'm going to start by just doing a row up. So I'm going to push down on it. And my apple came out. Didn't come out completely covered, but that's okay. Came out like this, my first one. I'm going to do a row of all red and then green and then yellow. So I'm going to paint this red one again and I'm going to try to maybe press down a little harder because when you cut the apples it might not always be even where you cut it so that might be why you get a little bit of um, missing paint on your tote bag but it doesn't, it doesn't matter. They're still beautiful however you do them. So I painted my apple and I'm going to press it down again. And I'm going to try to really kind of move it around a little bit this time. Maybe even put your fingers under it and push all the edges. Maybe this one will come out a little more. And yes, it did. This one came out a little bit more. So let's see, I'll do another red. I might do like a four, three, two, one pattern. I'm not sure. I'll see what I'm going to do here. And you can also paint on your stem afterwards. A little more paint. Put another apple on here. I'd really like my stem to show up. Whoops. My apple went a little over the side here. But again, that's okay. So I'm going to do one more. all done. So I'm going to move on to my, I think I'll go green next. So I have my apple. This one looks pretty even. We'll see how it turns out. Again, I'm going to paint it. Put a nice amount of paint on there. Just make sure you cover it to all the edges. Alright, 
let's see how this one turns out. I have my green paint on there. And I'm going to press it. I'm going to press down on my stem. Move this around a little bit. And again, didn't get completely covered, but I actually kind of like it like this. I think it looks nicer this way. Okay, so straighten this out again so this is nice and even. And I'm going to put some, whoops, I got some paint on my finger. All right, so now I'm going to put some more paint on here, some more green paint. Here I go again on my canvas. I'm going to press my apple down. And pick it up. And that one made a different pattern too. I kind of like the patterns that are a little different. They're not all the same. So I'm going to do one more. In green. See the spot where it seems to be not printing so much and put a little extra paint right on that spot and see if that works. And here's my third. I'm going to press down on my stem again. Wiggle this around a little. Hmm, I like it. So now I'm done with my green apple. I'm going to wipe that green paint off my hand because I don't want to get it on the yellow apple. So I have my last one. I'm going to blot it. And now we're going to do yellow. Now I'm going to paint this apple with yellow. This apple doesn't have a stem, but we can always paint a stem on afterwards. With the brown paint, we're also going to add to the kit, which is not seen in the picture here, but we'll add a little brown paint to the kit as well so you can paint on your stems if you'd like after. Okay, so now with my yellow. One. Wiggle it around. Oh, that one came almost completely covered. Okay, so like I said, I decided to do a 4-3-2 pattern. So I'm only going to do two of the yellow, and I, I put mine all the way up against the left, so there's going to be a little bit of space on the right, which is fine. You can do it that way. You can center it, do it however you want. You can even put your name down the side. So here's my... final apple. Okay, so I decided that I wanted to paint some brown stems on mine because on mine only the green stems came out. So we also included a little bit of brown paint and a paintbrush in your kit if you want to paint on a stem. So I'm just going to like so paint a little stem on each of my apples. You can paint them going in different directions. Or they can all go the same direction. Whatever you like. A little more here. Okay, so I'm going to I'm even going to go over the ones that came out with the green. I'm just going to go over it with a little brown so that those stems really stick out. And again, it's up to you if you want to put a stem on or not.
My last stem is a little sloppy, but that's okay. These aren't supposed to look perfect. Just in the yellow. Okay. So there you have it. Here's my apple tote. And if you wanted to, you could use the extra paint. You could paint your name across or down. Do whatever you want. Do any kind of a pattern you want. You can do all one color. You can mix up colors however you want to do it. And do us a favor. Once you guys print your totes, can you post a picture on our Facebook page so that everybody can see what you've done? That would be awesome. Okay, that's it for today. Bye-bye.